Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to export your anime CC file into HD video uh, and Ultra HD, known as 4K video. Uh, the principle is pretty simple. As you know, um, the HD video's resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and 4K video's resolution is 3840 by 2160 pixels. So as long as you keep that uh, minimum resolution requirement, then it is not that hard to export it. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to create today. Dolly Zoom, text animation, and the logo. Pretty simple. If you have missed yet my previous video, how to create this kind of dolly zoom effect, anyway, I'm going to repeat it today, but um, uh, you may uh, want to visit it too. Play again. Okay, so let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing is we need to find a good size images, a high res images for 4K or HD video. So let's say I'm looking for the 4K videos, and then um, that means I need to find the images larger than 3840 pixel by 2160 pixel, or at least the same size as it is. Okay, so um, this is the Pexels.com. Uh, I'm using this site pretty uh, very often. It's a pretty good site, and then most of the images are free to download it and to use it. Uh, just you need to. Um, have some kind of a credits, so on. Um, it should be okay. So let's say I want to use this, for example, and then I once you scroll down, there's an info button, and it will tell you uh, the dimensions. So uh, this one is 2400 by 1228. So this is okay for the HD video, but and this is not good enough, big enough for 4K videos. Okay, so this way you can scroll up and down. And then I find the images you uh, you want to use, and then um, check the resolution, image size. So let's say this one is good. Uh, no, it's not still, a little small. Okay. So uh, please download the images the um, uh, I down I provided in my description, and those images are larger than uh, the 38, 40 by 2160. So now let me open new anime cc file and then um, the size is going to be 3840 by 2160 so this is a 4k video size we're gonna keep 24 frame rate and platform type really doesn't matter because anyway we're going to export this mp4 file so either html5 or action script 3.0 let me use this one it really doesn't matter so create it so double click so um, I fit to window. So first thing is I will need to import uh, my images. So uh, from the um, the link I provided, there are a few images. Uh, this is the one uh, as a background I'm going to use, and then logo.svg and climber.png. So these three files. So uh, move it to your library directly. And check the first button for the SVG file. Okay, so I have three images uh, in my library. My background, my logo, and my climber. So first, let me have my um, uh, background images. Just drag and drop. And let me open my Align panel. If you do not see this, it is under Windows menu, and Align is here. Okay, and check the Align to Stage and horizontal center and vertical center okay so i will rename this layer as um <clears throat> excuse me bg layer and let me create another new layer for the climber and then i'm gonna have them somewhere here let me zoom out a little bit I think he's too big. Let me make him a little bit smaller, about this size. Okay. 
All right, and I'm going to have a logo later. Okay, so first, uh, we're going to create some kind of a dolly zoom effect like we did in my previous video. So if you have missed the video, please revisit it. I will make a link as well. So uh, from, I'm going to have some kind of two second animation first. So let me highlight the um, um, two second mark, which is 48 frames, and then um, hold down the shift key, and so select both for the BG layer and climber layer and insert a keyframe. Okay. And then hold down the shift key, select both layers, place your mouse cursor somewhere in between anywhere, hold down the control key or right click and choose the um, uh, create classic twin. Okay. Okay. Now, first my BG layer is supposed to be zoom out. So let me place my play hat at the end, which is frame number 48, and highlight that frame. Now choose your image, your background image. Switch your tool to our free transform tool. Hold down the shift key and resize it. Just like this. So it fits, it fills uh, your entire uh, stage. Just like this. Okay, now, climber, I'm going to make it a little bit uh, bigger. So um, on my first keyframe, so let me place my play hat on frame number one and select my climber and then free transform tool. Hold down the shift key and then let me make it a little bit smaller, not too much about this. And then let me move it down. So this will happen. Fade to page, like a dolly zoom effect, like we did in my previous video. And then also, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give some kind of little kind of a difference of a speed. So let me highlight the first the two keyframes together, and properties panel. Uh, in this the uh, effect and the classic is option. Let me enter the uh, minus hundred. So it's gonna be getting a little faster, like a dolly zoom effect. Okay, so I'm done with my um, uh, background. So um, uh, and the climber. Then I want to add the text and then a logo. Okay, so uh, let me insert a new layer on top. And then I highlight the two second mark. And let me insert a keyframe. I'm going to type simple word. Top of the word. Reminds me a song, my one of my uh, carpenter's song. Top of the word. Okay, so somewhere here. Okay, maybe a little, okay, okay, and then the first thing is uh, I'm going to have some kind of, like I showed you, some kind of a simple animation. So um, break apart, modify, break apart. So individual letter, and then go to modify again, and timeline, distribute to layers. Okay, and then normally uh, what I do is I just break apart again, modify and break apart. So uh, as a graphic, so I, I can have some more kind of a uh, fade in or that type of effect better than just a plain text. Then next thing is um, I'm going to highlight the frame number 55 of my first letter T layer and scroll all the way up and on my last the on the top layer which is letter D and hold down the shift key and highlight the frame number 55 so it will select all frame number 55 on each letter each layer and insert the keyframe don't worry about the other white missing background and then now 
highlight your top layer and then hold down the shift key and click on the other first letter first layer okay and then place your mouse cursor somewhere in between anywhere and click and create classic twin so hold down the control or right click and you will see this drop down menu and create classic twin so nothing's happening yet so what i'm going to do is on my first keyframe of letters so let me select all first keyframe of each letter so our letter t and let me hold down the shift key and letter d i'm going to move this up slightly not too much just like this and then also in the color effect let me change the alpha value down to zero so your letter are coming down and fading in see okay and also i want to do something more let me highlight the first keyframe of each letter again hold down the shift key and then this time in the properties panel i'm going to change this the other classic is option this time up to 100 so it's gonna be getting slower but it happens so quick but um, it makes some difference anyway okay then now I want to give some kind of a different timeline for each letter so T comes first and O P O F like a dominoes so um, uh, I will leave the other letter T as it is and let me highlight the next layer letter O and then it will select the, your entire segment and grab it keep pressing your mouse button and move it maybe two more or three more frames like this next layer p grab it one two three more next layer and the next one two three And the next layer, the next, oh, there's two less, one, two, three, okay, and the next layer, and the next, we're getting in there. Only four more letters. Almost there. Okay. Dolly zoom and top of the word. Okay. But um, the problem is everything's gone now, except the letter D. So except the letter D layer, highlight the, um, uh, the last frame from the, um, uh, uh, the letter L layer. And then all scroll down, all the way down. Hold down the Shift key. Click. So you're highlighting all layers, uh, the last frame, except the top layer, and insert the keyframe. So now we have everything. okay and then next thing is i want to have a logo on top of everything so uh, let me insert highlight the top layer insert a new layer then let me insert a keyframe i'm going to have from my library let me have my logo to somewhere here um, okay i'm going to make it slightly smaller than this top of the word okay so um once all the words the letters coming uh and the settling down i want to have though i want to animate uh this logo so what i'm gonna do is 
Let me highlight that frame number 100. Insert the keyframe. Place your mouse cursor somewhere in between these two keyframes and hold down the control key, click or right click, and classic twin. Then, on the first keyframe of my logo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it by using this free transform tool. Hold down the shift key. I'm going to make it bigger, about that size. And then in the properties panel, let me change the alpha value down to zero. So it is slow, uh, getting smaller and fading in. And then also on this first keyframe, I'm going to change my ease option to 100 again. Same thing, same way. Okay. And as you can see that uh, at the end, I only see the logo only. So um, the same with, same thing. Highlight the frame number 100 of all other layers by holding down the shift key and click and insert the keyframe. Okay. Isn't it cool? Okay. So uh, let me test the movie under controls and test the movie. It is looping uh, by default. Okay. But um, I want to give some kind of little more time after that. So my entire sequence is about kind of four seconds. So uh, let me give more like almost like a three seconds more. So uh, on the frame number 170, I'm highlighting the end of frame number 170 on the bottom layer and all the way up. Hold down the shift key and 170 and insert the keyframe. Then test the movie. Command return. One, two, three, and playing again. Okay, now we're going to export this uh, as the 4K video. So let me save it first. Save it as. Um, I'm going to save it as hiking. Then, now exporting. Go to File, Export, Video and Media. And please make sure your the media encoder is on. The, now. You see that the render size, uh, 3840 by 2160, which is a 4K Ultra HD, which is good. And then, in the format, always choose the H.264, and then, once you choose this, the end of the drop-down menu, you're going to see that Ultra HD 4K. Okay, our uh, we'll name is Hiking 4K and export. Then your media encoder will encoding uh, as the 4K video. Okay, so 4K is done, and then this time let me export it as the HD video, uh, 920 by 1080 pixel. So same thing, export to video media. And also please make sure you check this uh, the start of the media encoder render queue immediately. This button, uh, this checkbox. Okay, everything's gonna be the same. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything but this to 1080 Full HD, 
okay? You don't have to change it there, your render size. It will render to this size. And then I'm going to this time export as a hiking HD. Save it and export. It starts rendering as the HD video, media encoder. So make sure that you have installed the media encoder on your computer and on. Okay, so it is done. So let me check my folder. I have 4K and HD. Let me check the file size. My HD file is the um, uh, 8 megabyte and my 4K video is a 34 megabyte. We can view it. Okay. Let me check my HD file too. Okay, so it looks the, almost the same, but um, uh, the dimension is different. You can tell by the size. Okay, so um, this is it. I hope that this is helpful. And then uh, please don't forget to subscribe and then I uh, set the notification for my latest video. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.